Hi, I'm Darren Terpstra, exhibit designer with the University of Minnesota Libraries Archives and Special Collections, and I'd like to welcome you to our latest exhibit, Ralph Rapson, A Legacy of Architecture and Design. And here to tell us more is the curator, Jane King Hessian. Ralph Rapson was head of the School of Architecture at the University of Minnesota for 30 years, and he came to Minnesota in 1954. He also had a practice in uh, Minnesota, in Minneapolis, for well, 40 years, and a very prolific practice, and he designed a number of significant buildings here in the Twin Cities, including the original Guthrie Theater, um, Cedar Riverside, numerous churches and residences. Not only did he design um, a number of buildings, he taught an entire generation of architects to design buildings, so his influence is deep and far-reaching. Another great opportunity visitors will have here is to see the process of architecture. We drive past amazing buildings all the time and sometimes it doesn't register how these things are created, how they come into existence, but you get a taste of that here. It's almost like a behind the scenes. You see simple hand-drawn sketches that are very uh, fast and rudimentary, and then you see cleaner drawings, and then you see elevations, and you see models and photographs, and finally the finished product. He could draw like no no one else, and Ralph's drawings are very engaging. Not only do they clearly show what his architectural visions were, they show how people would use these buildings. Another important thing about sketches is in this world of computer-generated images, particularly in architectural design, we're losing that uh, uniqueness of an artist's mark on the piece of paper. So what we have here in Ralph's sketches is Ralph's personality, Ralph's talents, Ralph's thinking that you can see in some instances, changes he might have made, corrections, and really that is going to be something of a lost art. The thing about Ralph, Rapson's architecture, is it's all around us in the Twin Cities, so we hope people will come here and see what's in the case and make connections with what's in the environment in Minneapolis.